Duck Cake for Sale by Janet Lunn Pictures by Kim Lafarbe An old woman moved to the country to escape the noise and confusion of the city. The farmer gives her two ducklings to swim in the creek near her new house. Kim Lafarbe's delightful illustrations show what happens when two ducks become far too many. Duck Cakes for Sale by Janet Lunn Pictures by Kim Lafarbe There was once an old woman who left the city to get away from all the noise and confusion. Out in the country she found a small house by a creek with a big shade tree in the backyard. This is just right for me, she said, and she settled all her favourite old things in her new house. Then she sat down to admire the view from her window. The creek looks lonely, she thought. I'll get a duck to swim there. And off she went to see the farmer who lived down the road. Have you got a duck I could have? she asked. A duck? Lady, you're lucky. I've got two. The farmer gave her two downy yellow ducklings. Every day, the old woman fed grain to her ducklings. In time, they grew big. Their down became feathers. They made a nest by the back step. One morning, there was a big green egg in it. In a few days, there were six more eggs. In a few weeks, the eggs were hatched into a new family of ducklings. The ducklings grew up. Soon there were more eggs. Then there were more ducklings. Then more eggs. Then more ducks. Then more and more and more until the whole backyard was full of ducks. They were quacking and scolding. They were splashing in the creek. They were tramping in each other's way. They were making more noise and confusion than there had ever been in the city. There's no room here for me, cried the old woman. At once she began to gather in the eggs so no more could hatch. But there were too many eggs for one old woman to eat, so she made pancakes and lemon butter. Soon her tables were piled high with pancakes and her shelves were crammed with jars of lemon butter. She made custards and cookies, omelettes and puddings, quiches and Yorkshires. She made deviled eggs, pickled eggs, creamed eggs, scotch eggs and egg salad sandwiches. Every ledge and lampshade was covered with egg dishes the old woman had made. Still there were eggs, eggs and more eggs every day and out in the yard there were ducks and more ducks in the trees in the bushes squabbling on the steps and quarreling in the creek the old woman had an idea she made a sign duck cakes for sale ducks drakes custards and cakes and lots of other things even feathers Before long a car stopped and a man and a woman came to the door for custard and cakes. Would you like some tea too? The old woman asked. Yes, please, they said. And when they left, they took enough feathers to stuff two pillows. The man and woman told all their friends in the city about the tea. Their friends came and brought their friends. 
and soon it seemed everyone in the city was coming to the country for custard and cakes. The backyard was full of ducks. The front yard was full of people. Cars were lined up way down the road. There were more people in the living room having tea, and their kitchen was full of pancakes, lemon butter, custards, cookies, omelettes and puddings, quiches and Yorkshires, deviled eggs, pickled eggs, creamed eggs, scotch eggs and egg salad sandwiches. Bits of green eggshell were everywhere. The old woman threw up her hands. Help! she cried. What am I going to do? I've never seen so much noise and confusion in all my life. At that moment, two old ducks pushed their way into the house. They looked the company over, slowly and carefully. Then they turned and waddled back outside. They quacked two loud quacks. They lifted their wings and flew off into the evening sky. One by one, the other ducks followed after. In a few days, when the eggs were all gone and the people had stopped coming for tea, the old woman set everything to rights, and she sat back in her chair and looked out at the view. I wonder, she said to herself as she rocked back and forth, if it might be nice to have one red hen.